right. Okay, sweet as. Today we're going to a place called Merger's Waterfall. Merger's Waterfall? It's a really discreet, quiet, secluded little spot in a very understated suburb, Newlands, here in Wellington. And we're going to go and check it out today. I'll show you how to find it today. Stay tuned. First step to find this waterfall is to get yourself into this place here, Granada Village. It's right in between Johnsonville and Tawa, sort of directly opposite Chatham Park. Okay, so this place is called Seton Nossata Park. It's where people come to walk their dogs. Oh, sh speaking of that, I should probably watch where I'm walking. Great big bush area. Reserve area just down the back of Newlands, and up there is Woodridge. Over there is Newlands. Over here is Granada Village, Johnsonville, Tower, Porirua. And this waterfall, it's quite secluded and picturesque, so I think it's quite nice to take photographs of. I've taken photos here previously, and here they are here. Right, right off the bat I'm picking that to find a waterfall, it's always best to follow the water. So we'll just bail down the stream a bit and see where it takes us. Now the one thing that's reassuring about seeing water in this creek here, is it means there's a good chance there's going to be water at the fall. I know that sounds crazy. Uh oh. I think that's pretty much the only clue I'm going to have to give is to just follow the water. I've just been walking along trying to think of any other directions that could possibly help. I've turned up here, there's a car park, there's a track, there's a stream to follow. I think it couldn't be easier. Let's hyperlapse to the next waypoint. Okay, we just came to a big clearing there. And the most important thing when you come to that clearing is to just continue to follow the water. Here it is here. The way you work out if you're going towards a waterfall is if the water is coming toward you. If you find yourself following the water that way, you're going the wrong way. So long as you keep a bit of an eye or an ear out for the water, you know you're going the right way. Okay, you're gonna to come to this spot here. It's another smaller clearing, and it does look to split. You can either go this way, up into this valley here, or you can cut through here. Right at the start, the number one tip, and probably the only tip, is to follow the water. And if we look here, the water goes that way, and not that way. We're gonna go that way. It's a pretty dull day, so I'm not expecting to get great photographs. But it's still going to be a nice spot, and plus you're going to know how to get there. Don't be tempted to go this way. You need to head this way. A sweet bit of bush through here. Windy. Wind just comes straight down here. Old man's beard must die. This bush here is wild hops. See, there's another one here. Wild hops, it's the wrong season now. You know, they're gonna regenerate and I guess harvest is next February or March or April. These are wild hops. This is another one here. This is another one here. And if you're into your homebrew, come and check it out. Seaton Nossa to Park, wild hops. Another one here. Here's a huge vine here. This whole area is full of wild hops huge wild hop bush hey now that we're here listen 
You hear that? That is Murgis Waterfall. Okay, so we're just gonna set up and take a couple of long exposure shots right here. Got the ND8 filter on. Beautiful, mate. Okay, this is a live view. Just taking the shot. Okay, for this shot, I want to try something a little bit higher. It's actually almost impossible to find it at good angles, so let me... Nah, that angle sucks too. Okay, I found a really nice angle. Look at this. Look at that for an angle. Now I'm going to press fire, here we go. And we're shooting. Such a good idea. Now there's nowhere to go from up here. I'll see you down there. Oh, shit, I was gonna see you down there. I didn't expect that. We found the waterfall. We found the wild hop plants. We got the photos. We didn't get up the hill. Definitely came crashing back down it. All right, let's pick it up and head on out. What the hell are you doing down there? Well, I think the highlight here was finding the wild hops and uh, you know it's gonna probably appeal to quite a few home brewers out there I don't know what strain they are or how bitter they are or, or what the IBU rating of them is I don't know if it's German SARS or Nelson Sauvon or Rewaka or Machuek could be any of those what's the one they used in Steinlager? Green Bullet See this bush here? This is all wild hops. Huge bush of it. 